Welcome back to my channel Plot Science Tools. In this video, we will discuss about the procedure of testing Z test. That how what are the steps that we can follow to test a Z test, or uh, we can uh, state your hypothesis, and uh, now further we can test the Z test. First of all, the step one is uh, state your hypothesis. Uh, the hypothesis can be uh, stated in this way. Uh, like H not mu is equal to 27 means the average score is 27 and the alternate hypothesis can be written as this like mu is not equal to 27 means the average score is not equal to 27 so in this case uh, in this uh, perspective you can state your uh, null hypothesis or alternate hypothesis so the next step is uh, significance level we should determine our the significance level if the significance uh, level is not given in the question then we will assume it uh, as uh, equal to the 0 0.05 but if we have our two tail test then uh, we will use a significance level uh, by dividing it to like alpha divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.025 so in this way you can test uh, you can use your significance level so the next step is step 3 that is basically the test statistics that what type of uh, step uh, uh, test statistics you can apply you can apply the z test t test or f test but depending upon your conditions and depending upon your given data uh, for example if you have a, a data in which the standard deviation is known then you can use a z test if the standard deviation is unknown then you can use T test and if uh, if uh, uh, the normal uh, population size is greater than 30 then you can use also the Z test and if it is less than uh, 30 then you can use the T test so this one is our fourth step that is basically computation so after uh, computation uh, in computation you can uh, basically in this uh, we will use uh, uh, a library that is basically the BSDA this is a specific statistics library that we can use in computing our uh, test statistics of uh, z-test uh, in uh, this code we will use a uh, function that is basically the z.test in this we, uh, we will first uh, write our the uh, our first mean uh, sample uh, sample mean which is basically uh, can be written as x is equal to sample mean and then we will uh, write it as a population mean in the form of the mu then uh, we need to uh, describe the uh, standard deviation or variance that is uh, given in the question uh, uh, which is basically with the help of the sigma dot x and then we will also need to uh, discuss about the alternative basically this alternative function is used to tell about the either the uh, your hypothesis uh, given is the greater less or two sided if you have a one tail test then you will uh, put it here uh, as a less or greater uh, depending upon your claim and if you have a two sided test two tail test then you need to write it uh, right here the two sided so after the uh, computation then we need to uh, define our the critical region and we may con uh, then uh, we need to conclude our uh, result so if uh, uh, especially for the four, uh, two tail test uh, you can see here that especially for the two tail test if uh, the p value is greater than alpha by 2 then we need to accept our h naught means then we can uh, accept our null hypothesis and we need to reject our uh, alternate hypothesis but if the p value is that is given in our foot if the p value is less than alpha by 2 uh, means the significance level uh, divided by 2 uh, then we need to reject the null hypothesis and accept uh, uh, the alternate hypothesis so if we, uh, you have a one tail test then there is no need to divide the significance level by 2 then we can use as uh, which is given in the question or if it is not given in the question then you can use simply a 0 0.05 significance level so this is basically all about the uh, Z test procedure. These are the steps, uh, these are the basically five steps that we can use in our 
uh, in our the upcoming videos to compute the z test and we uh, get our output so if you like my video please uh, subscribe my channel don't be forget to press the bell icon button allah hafiz